A few weeks back, I was at the Reebok offices doing some work with them on running, on their running shoes and uh, giving some insight on the market itself. While there, I got a good taste of how serious they are about CrossFit. In fact, a good number of the employees walking around have that distinctive V body frame that is a, it's not unique to CrossFit, but it is a, a telltale sign of a CrossFit body. And so when I got back, I started doing some research on, uh, I wanted to research the uh, Nano 6.0 from Reebok. I know that uh, the weight work that I do in my ultra running shoes is good from a sense that it keeps my foot flat because it's a zero drop shoe and it keeps it flat. But I also know from working on Olympic products at one point in my life that when you lift weights in a soft shoe, you're transferring power into the, the softness of the shoe. And less of that power is actually being generated back through your body, if that makes any sense. So if you look at a weightlifting shoe, someone who is an Olympic lifter, their shoes are actually hard. In fact, some of them are made out of wood. That's how hard they are. And the whole idea is to make sure all the power is generated from the body and not transferred through anything or dampened by anything. So I wanted to check out a review on the Reebok Nano and I came across um, a bunch of CrossFit people reviewing the Nano 6. I started watching a few of them on a regular basis. One of them is Team Richie, who is a guy that just came from bodybuilding to CrossFit and he's talking about his journey through CrossFit. And he did a, a good shoe review on the, the Nano. And in doing all this, I started to, to work on my own um, lifting. So I wanted, or my own workouts, if you will. So I've been doing a lot of uh, work on how to do double unders really well. Or I'm trying to teach myself how to do a kipping pull up. All CrossFit things, right? And uh, in doing my research on this, I've come across what I believe is a growing and a major issue in the sport of CrossFit. And it's the subject of Injury Prevention Friday this week. But my point is, in my search of CrossFit, um, learning how to do some of the CrossFit moves, in my search, what I found is a bunch of athletes talking about how much they, one, hate running, and two, are injured because of running. Case in point, just go and search Dan Bailey, workout of the day, February 8th, 2016. So Dan Bailey, workout of the day, February 8th, 2016. So in that workout, Dan is doing a 400 meter run, and then he's doing double unders with the jump rope for one minute, press ups with 35 pound dumbbell bells for one minute, pull ups, for one minute, squats with 35 dumbbells, 35 pound dumbbells for one minute, 
and then he rests for five minutes and then he does it again. And he did that three times through. It was a brutal workout, obviously. This guy is a beast of a man and he was going after the workout, going really hard. But what he talked about is the fact that he was just getting over plantar fasciitis and that that had set him back. I don't know, I didn't, I haven't looked at full results. I don't follow CrossFit on a regular basis, but Dan Bailey didn't make it to the CrossFit games. Is that because of his plantar fasciitis? Is that because he was injured and he, and he was set back for so long? I don't know. I don't know any of the details. All I know is I watched this video that was set as he was getting ready for the CrossFit Open and he was dealing with plantar fasciitis. Eight running injuries. This is a bunch of running shoes behind me. I'm not here to tell you which running shoe to purchase. What I am here to tell you is that because you are doing more running today than you were a year ago or a year and a half ago in your CrossFit sport and because you are running longer and more sustained efforts you need to get more specific with your with your shoes you cannot do it all in a CrossFit 6.0 nano it that is not a bad shoe in fact it's a great shoe but it's not specific to running it's a generalist shoe and a generalist shoe will only take you so far when you start getting specific to my sport which is running you need to get specific to your shoes that is one of the reasons why you're getting injured you're getting injured because of the same reason all runners get injured because we do too much in not enough and that's not saying that you need to go out and get the most cushioned shoe and that minimalism isn't good because it is good. But even a minimalist running shoe, even a, a shoe like this New Balance Vazi is going to be so much better for you than your Reebok Nano. Heck, look at the Reebok running shoes they'll be better for you than the Reebok Nano for running. Now your question is, how does that work in my workouts? My suggestion, and this is because I deal with running, injured runners all the time. My suggestion is if you're running anything longer than 400 meters, then you need to be in a running shoe. And if that means you do a 400 meter run, transition into your Reebok Nanos, then do your double unders and everything else, then that's what you do and you put that into the time. But it's better off you switching shoes into a running, switching into a running shoe, spending that time to switch them into a running shoe than it is to take time off because you're injured. When you compete, if you compete, then yeah. Do it all in one shoe because you don't have time to switch shoes in a competition when there's a running and a lifting and something else involved. But when you're training, take care of your body. Put on a running shoe during your running training. Your chance of injury will be dramatically reduced. The side benefit other than injury prevention, the side benefit is in a running shoe, you will actually begin to like running. I know, I know, that's crazy. How could you ever like running? You are a muscle bound, heavy lifting performance athlete. But when you do it in a comfortable running shoe, it becomes better and you'll begin to like it. You'll get that runner's high. Not because of the shoes, obviously, but because you like it. 
Hey, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Have a great Friday and a great weekend. Talk to you later.